Hello, this is David Womack with Rhythms of Nature here in the Pacific Northwest of Washington at the base of Mount Rainier. Today, I wanted to go over some essential bushcraft scouts knots that are very good for camping, mountain climbing, and even around the house. So let's get to it. Okay, for the first knot, I wanted to show you a what's called a figure eight. And it's a general stopper's knot for the end of your rope, okay? It's better than just your normal knot, right? That can get super tight and hard to take out. So if you can curve your mind around it and just take a little bit more time, you can create better knots that are more useful and so the figure eight, it's super simple. And that's why we're starting out with this knot. All what you're gonna do is make a loop, okay? And then take the end of the rope and pass it under and then back through, okay? So you're already creating, you're already creating a figure eight, right? And then back under and through the original loop, and it almost looks like a pretzel, then you just pull that in. And that's a good general stopper's knot, and that's the figure eight. Okay, after the general stopper's knot, the figure eight, now I want to show you how to attach two different ropes. So I have two different colors here so you can really uh, pay attention to what's going on here. The first one that I want to show you is a quick sheet bend. Okay, so you're going to bend the rope to a U. You're going to come through this rope and back under. Okay, so now we have two U's. One going up and down, one going across. Now, you're going to pass this piece back through the loop. Okay, and then you just pull it tight. This is to cinch two pieces of rope and this is what's called a sheep's bin. Okay, my next knot that I really like to do is, is the iconic square knot, okay? And again, it's to connect two pieces of rope together, okay? So how this one goes, left over right, and under just like you were going to tie your shoe okay so we went left over right and now right over left and there you have it the beautiful iconic square knot okay and this is to attach two pieces of rope together and it comes out to be a very beautiful knot and this sucker is not going nowhere. Okay, for this next one, I'm going to teach you how to do a alpine butterfly knot, okay? This is for mountain climbers to be able to attach another climber. And uh, in the bushcraft world, you might have a ridge line or, or you might connect it to a tree branch and have a loop where you can hang, you know, a light or an item, okay? So the alpine butterfly knot, you're gonna take your hand, wrap your hand once, twice, three times, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna pick this, the second rope in the middle. You're gonna pull it under the third, okay? And you're gonna come over the top of both of those and back under both of them. Now you have this loop here, okay? And then from there, you're gonna slowly hold on to everything while you just kind of pull all of this together. It's a little tricky at first, but once you got it, and there you have it. There's your butterfly and your loop. So you can either put a carabiner, carabiner on here or attach a hook or you can 
had this hanging from a tree and a, attach a light or any type of item that you might want to hang okay so this is your alpine butterfly knot and loop okay okay so for this next one i'm going to show you how to do a clove hitch um it's a used as a crossing knot for mountaineering and to for fixing to a carabiner or a fixed anchor like i'm going to show you right here so it's real simple you're going to take your rope make a loop go in one direction and then you're going to take your second loop go in the opposite direction okay then you're going to take the second loop and put it over the first okay so if you had a carabiner you could just click that carabiner onto here right and right here we're cinching to this fixed stake right here okay and it creates a nice tight cross a knot and you can take it right back off as well so that's the clove hitch okay the next one that i want to go over with you is how to make a arbor slip knot or what's called the bushcraft zip tie okay and pretty much you're just going to make a loop you're gonna you're gonna cross cross your rope over okay okay and you're you're essentially you're just making a knot on the end of this rope around the original rope right so now this rope slides up and down and back through right so you have a slip knot okay now what you want to do and i should have given it a little bit extra room here You have your loop up, over, under, just a basic knot, right? So from there, you want to make a stop knot, okay, on the end of here. And this, when it cinches down, if this ever loosens up like so, this knot will stop it, and there is no getting out of that, okay? So that's a slip knot, or your bushcraft zip tie, okay? Okay, this next knot is a fixed loop knot, okay? And it's called the bowline, and this is used as a fixed loop, and a lot of boaters will use it for docking, and in the bushcraft world, um, it's used on, on stakes or like around a tree for a ridge line uh, at the end of your rope. So this is how it goes. This is called the bowline, and some, some people might call it the, the bowline. Um, it's, some people also use this um, to secure on a, on a rod and reel as well. So um and this is how this goes you're going to take the end of the rope and create a loop okay you just want to kind of straighten this this rope out and make sure you have enough slack over here in your other hand and i'll teach you the boy scout way okay it, it kind of makes it kind of fun and easy to remember you're going to take the end of the rope and go through the hole so the rabbit goes through the hole up and out out of the out of its house through the hole and comes back behind the tree and see something and gets scared and then comes back down through its hole back into the home okay and then you just tighten that up and that's a fixed loop bowling okay and how this should look is this this rope right here comes up and around and back through and runs parallel with 
your line right here okay with the inside of the rope and so when you're docking onto with the boat or something like that you might toss this and throw it onto an anchor and then pull your boat in and it's easy to slip back off or the end of your rod and reel right on your fishing line and around a tree you would use this like an anchor point and bring your rope through okay and to your to your point right and it's easy to come back out so that's called a bowline and i'm going to demonstrate how this bowline comes in use um making a ridge line to a trucker's hitch with the quick release okay all right stay tuned okay now with using that last bowline fixed loop knot that i showed you i'm going to show you how to use that attaching to this tree and then coming to this next one and what we're going to do is make a ridge line so we're going to attach to this tree with the bowline fixed loop knot that i just showed you come around this tree and we're going to make what's called a trucker's hitch with a quick release so we're going to create a loop and a trucker's hitch so you're going to take this bowline that I demonstrated how to make that earlier, okay? We're gonna come around this tree. And then you're gonna pass the rest of your rope around the tree. And you could also use a bushcraft zip tie uh, over here, but we're using the bowl end this time. And then you're gonna come around this tree and what we're doing is making a sturdy ridge line and we'll make our loop and our quick release right here for our trucker's hitch and uh so this ridge line it can be used for a primitive tarp shelter or to hang different items this same uh setup right here you could attach it to a, a tent or a tarp to a stake as well okay so I'm gonna bring the camera up in closer so I can show you and demonstrate exactly what's going on in here when we create this quick loop with the trucker's hitch and a quick release. All right, stay tuned. Okay, now we're, we're coming around this rope here and now we're gonna make our quick loop uh, with our for our trucker's hitch and a quick release okay and so that how that looks okay a good way to remember here is how to make this quick loop is to place your hand on the ridge line okay and this feels this feels safe and comfortable this feels safe and comfortable this feels uncomfortable right so what we're going to do is grab the rope with our four fingers in an uncomfortable position. And we're going to bring the rope back to a comfortable position. Okay. And what that looks like is just like this. And now thumbs up for a good position. And we have the rope around our four fingers, right? So now with our loose thumb, we're going to slide our loose thumb through the loop okay and from here the most comfortable way to go would be to go forward okay it's real hard to go backwards so what you're going to do is grab forward and pull this rope through your loop okay and then slide forward and now you have your fixed little loop okay and you want to pull the tension towards the tree that you're going in now with the excess rope that you have you're going to pull that through that loop okay so this is what this looks like you have your loop that you just made and you came through the loop okay and now you can pull this back and make a really sturdy ridge line right so what we're going to do we came through this loop one time and now what we're going to do to sturdy everything up we're going to pass the rope 
back through one more time, okay? And when you pass this through, you want it running on the bottom of this rope right here that's going around the tree that you passed through the first time. So the second, the second go around goes through on the bottom, okay? And when you do that, you can cinch it down and then everything stays and you don't even have to hold tension here while you're working the rest of the, of the rope, okay? So now with the excess line, you're gonna pass this, pass this over, okay? So what this looks like, you've come through your loop, you passed your rope over, okay? And then you have this loop right here, okay? And this rope right here that's crossed over, you're gonna grab this and bring it through this loop right here. And then boom, there's your quick release. So this is your bowling to a trucker's hitch with a quick release, okay? So now, all what you have to do to release this is boom. You untie that and everything comes loose, okay? So that's your bowling to a quick release trucker's hitch. All right, thank you. Okay, so there you have it. Several essential bushcraft scout knots that you can use for camping, mountaineering, bushcrafting, fishing, and even around the house. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, many blessings.